this is Pamela and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. Um, as you can see the other day, I did a video of the UTK Red Light Therapy Blue Light. I'm still working on that. Um, my little granddaughter Charlie Mae had a birthday and so I haven't really got to try out the little gadget, but I am looking forward to trying that out. And it may be one of those things that I have to do come back like in a year. <laughs> I'm not sure. So one of the things that I wanted to show you guys is I did get my Annie's kit of the month and I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, they come in a blue bag. And okay, so the thing that I want to show you from them that I received is the filigree round throw. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that guys. I was so excited when I received this. I'm really not sure that if I make it where what I want to do with it or where I want it to go. But it is so cool. Look at that. I've never made anything like this. So I do plan on making it and see what comes of it. So here is the yarn. Very nice yarn. Let's see if it has the syllable. It's the Anti-Peeling Everyday Worsted Premier. So this yarn is very nice. It, it has like, it kind of reminds me of Caron Simply Soft a little bit. Um, it has that kind of feel to it, but I just love the Premier Anti-Peeling yarn uh, that Annie's goes with. There, we can kind of, yeah. I just love their yarn. I've made so many of their projects uh, using this yarn, and it's just, I just love it. So anyway, it comes one, two, three, four, and it comes with the pamphlet instructions, and it should be crochet and knit. Yes, it has a knit. That's the knit one, and that's the crochet one. I forgot they do have knit and crochet. And if you go online and sign into your account, you have a, um, a right and left-handed tutorial in case you're not understanding, you know, you're, let's say you're not real good at reading instructions, uh, the pattern, you can go and watch the tutorial. It's all included in this little kit right here. So thank you, Annie's, for sending this to me. Um, I am going, I just know I'm going to love it. And... I would actually maybe even like to make a cream colored one. So I'm going to attempt to try to make this. When I say attempt, it's not attempt, it's just, I'm really not sure what I wanna do with it, <laughs> but it's so cool. So uh, I am looking forward to making this, just not sure what I have in my house here that could use that, but hey, I wanna find something, right? Some place for it to go. <laughs> But anyway, I'm look, I am looking forward to making it. So let's move on and see what else I have. All right, guys, so the other thing is, uh, this is a Mary Maxim kit. One of you subscribers, and I'm so sorry, I just cannot remember who it was because this was given to me a while back. But the kit came with uh, this baby doll. And now that I have a granddaughter, I've been saving it. And um, now that I have a granddaughter, I can't wait to use this. But it came with a little baby doll. How cool is that? And it came with instructions on how to make um, this right here. A little dress, a little blanket and everything for this baby doll and a little hat. So I'm really looking forward to that. And here are the yarns it came with. So yeah, very nice. It came with two yarns actually. Let's see. This one and then this uh, mellow spun. Here's the mellow spun. The mellow spun is in the white and in the green part right here. I'd have to get my glasses on to read this, but this is a two fine guys. Mary Maxim, baby's best. So we'll see. I make doll clothes, as you know, I'm the owner of Adoring Doll Clothes. <laughs> and I only use medium four weight yarn because I want my patterns to be able to, when the people purchase them or watch my tutorials on them, that they can easily go into their local Walmart or local little store and grab any type of a medium full weight yarn that they want. And so that's why I try to do my dog clothes in the medium full weight yarn is so that everyone, you know, don't have to go to specialty shops to buy yarn just to be able to make my products. What, now that I'm saying that, what really got me is when I first started making doll clothes, um, I would purchase these patterns and they would say a two-way, three-way, things like that. 
and you needed them in all these different colors. Well, you guys know that a two weight and three weight yarn is a little expensive to buy. You don't get much for your money. And, you know, if you're making a doll outfit that calls for four different colors, you got to buy four of those. And you may only use, just use a small piece. And so I buy these patterns and I would get frustrated that, you know, not only could I not afford to buy those yarns like that, those specialty yarns, just to make the little doll outfit, but um, it was a little bit harder to work with as well. And I couldn't always find them at, you know, this is when I first started out and everything. It was hard, you know, trying to find that at Walmart. And I just couldn't justify paying, you know, six, seven dollars or more a color. Anyway, so uh, that's when I finally just kind of got frustrated and started designing my own patterns. And um, one of the things was I told myself, I'm always going to use a medium full weight yarn when I design my doll clothes. <laughs> So anyway, that's where that comes in at. Okay, the other thing is, guys, you remember my little grandson Knox did this. He was coloring one day. But um, I take uh, these and put pictures on here of all the things that I've made. I try to put a picture in the instructions where I got the pattern and things like that. Um, I try to always do that. Um, that one's empty. <laughs> I got to fill that in. It's best to fill it in as you do it. <laughs> Guys, it really is best to do it as, fill it in as you do it. Well, anyway, so um, this is my camera. I'll try and find the link to that in the description box where I did a video on this. And there's the little camera. I don't really use the camera for a camera. <laughs> I use the printer part of the camera. And so here's my sheets of paper. And then this is just my little instruction that I just keep with it. But um, the other day, I went on Amazon, and I bought me a whole 100-pack to do me. So, I just use a regular uh, theme notebook, and I put the year on here. And now, 2023 was a crazy year for me. So, I did not get as, make as many, or design as many patterns as I normally do in a year. So, this was only supposed to be a year's worth. Well... I have a lot, a ton of pages left, so this is going to be a combination of 2023, and I'll add 2024 on there. And I usually have, like, the year, I mean, the months, like, this will be January through December of 2023, and then I'll have 2024, and then what months on there. But anyway, that's my way of keeping up with my patterns, what yarn I use, and all that good stuff. <laughs> okay, guys, so the last thing I have to show is the shawl. I just did a tutorial on this. It is the Lake House Shawl. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Ooh, I just love it. Love, 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 love this. Ah, I can't be any happier over this shawl. I just love it. So this is about 18 inches wide and about, mm, I guess probably about 75 inches long. You can make it as long as you want. Matter of fact, on the tutorial, I don't even tell you how many rows to do because it's up to you. You can make it as long as you want. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, so I used an A, um, an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for this, and the yarn I used is Hobie yarn. It's Manaya. It's a minute full weight yarn, but it's, it's kind of like a little roving yarn. So um, it tends to have some thin spots and some thicker spots. So that's the yarn that I use for that. You can use any yarn you like, of course. Um, and this is, this yarn happens to have, um, some wool and some acrylic in it, I think. Let me get my specs on. Okay, so it's 65% virgin wool and 35% acrylic. And I used two of these, so I used about 1,100 yards total to make that shawl, the length that I want. The color on this is, it just says 05. But it's very beautiful. I guess I'll show you one more thing, just to top it off. I did finish the other doll blanket that I was needing to finish, the baby doll blanket. Perfect. Hold on. Let me tr get that baby doll. Out. Okay. Let's see. I think it's just perfect. Look at that. <laughs> and has a pillow. There you go. Charlie Mae's going to love this. So um, I did finish that. the The blanket was the this blanket right here was the last blanket I need to do. So I made her 
two blankets. So there is a tutorial on this on YouTube. I'll leave the link for that. There is a PDF pattern as well. So I made this blanket and uh, this blanket. So I made two blankets for her and two pillows right here for her baby bed um, to wrap her little dolls in. She just turned in a year old, so um, she's not quite into it yet, but she will be. And I used an H 5.0 millimeter crochet hook on that. And this is the yarns that I used. It's the flex loops and thread. I used probably, I don't know if it's about 400 yards, I would say maybe on between the pillow and the blankets. What I'm thinking right, guys, that's all that I have for the video. Let's go ahead and do our buy steel waters. Uh, let's see. Let's do the, um, when we think praying matters not. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. Woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, my hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. John 2, verse 3 through 5. We pray and pray and pray some more. Sometimes we're caught murmuring. If in the end God is going to do what he wants, then what is the point of praying? A perfectly honest question. In the book of John, we see that Jesus wasn't planning on creating more wine at the wedding at Cana when they ran out. And yet his mother had faith that he would. And later in this passage, we discover that Jesus did indeed make the wine after all. Not just any wine, but the best. Perhaps we can glean from these verses that we can turn the heart of gold when we pray. <laughs> heart of gold. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. That we can turn the heart of God when we pray. He won't always give us exactly what we want when we want it. But he is swayed by our prayers and our petitions. Jesus set the example for us by praying to the Father while he was on earth and his prayers were answered in a mighty way. That should encourage us. Mm -hmm. When we talk to our Lord, he is not only listening, but he will be faithful to move on our behalf. Lord, thank you for hearing my prayers and for supplying my every need. Amen. That was just beautiful. That spoke to me, and I pray that that spoke to you guys. Um, well, guys, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.